everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Josie. And if you're not a subscriber, I would appreciate you subscribing and thumbs up or leave a comment. Anyway, today I am going to show you this finished product. Now the cover of this junk journal was made by Pam's Treasures and she quilted it and I certainly appreciate her gifting this to me. Now I'm gonna lower the camera so you can actually see the pages instead of looking at me. Okay. The only thing I changed on the cover is I added this piece of fabric. And let's start, let's see, maybe you can see it better that way. Yeah, I think so. Okay, this is page one. And there are little papers there so you can journal. And page two. <clears throat> I will hold it up a little bit. I loved making this. This was so much fun. So there's lots of little cards that you can journal on. <clears throat> and this here, I had received a Christmas card with these boots, these, I guess they're skates <laughs> is what they are. Uh, and I loved them. So I saved the card and then I removed them and decided to use them in this journal. Okay. And then this one I did like this. So you can actually put cards in if you would like. And then it's opened right here. So you have two areas. And this is just a hair clip. You can use most anything. That's what's so fun about junk journaling. Um, just everyone has different ideas. And this one actually I glued it too, down too far. I will have to remove that one. Anyway, that's supposed to slide out. <laughs> oh. These all slide. I didn't get carried away with the glue. Yeah, see this, I like this, that cute. I do get carried away with glue sometimes. See, I like using these bands to hold the pages in. And that's why I covered that. So you actually don't see the spine there. And I use, I put a lot of these in. This gives you an opportunity to write a lot. That's where I lack in journaling. <laughs> I love making them but I failed to actually journal very often. And this is just another hair clip. I did the same. And let's put this. There we go. I don't know why, but always on the camera, you know, if you're going to fail to do something, you're going to do it on the camera. And lots of cards. And I also use little jewelry charms. And, and let's see this here. It says, there's a place within our hearts where we keep our favorite memories, the ones that never fail to make us smile. And when life becomes too hectic and such a special feeling to close our eyes and reminisce a while, and out of all the memories of family and friendship, the ones that are the most touching to recall are joy-filled, love-filled moments that we share at Christmas time. Those are the dearest memories of all. 
and it was written by an Amanda Bradley. And I did take this, I think from a Christmas card. And that's what is so great about journals is you can write down special memories. And, and some of my other journals that I've made specifically for myself, um, I save like special cards that mean a lot to me. And um, I have a couple of journals that I keep on my coffee table because a lot of times if there's a special poem or a card, we just throw it in a drawer. We don't look at it again. And then if something happens to us, our families just throw them away. But if you journal and then, or keep special cards in your junk journal on your coffee table, once in a while you'll pick it up and look at them. And, and everyone knows I am so in love with the truck red, blue, whatever. And if you look at my background, well, I don't know if it shows right now because I have the rabbits that I made. <clears throat> but I have a um, blue truck with pumpkins and all sorts of trucks. Again, this is, I just finished this a couple of days ago. And I hope you enjoyed watching. And watch some of the other channels that do uh, journaling. It's fascinating. There's so many creative people. And I like to watch them. I don't like to copy them, but I like to get some ideas and then make them into my designs to what I like. But I will use some of the ideas. And this one says, um, it's not even, I don't know who wrote this. The pie and the clock. On Christmas day, we had a pie. A nice round pie with crum crumbly rim. And mother was cutting it. And she said, big or little, to Uncle Jim. Uncle Jim looked a funny look right up over mother's head. Then he told her, about 10 minutes, please. Truly, that's just what he said. <laughs> that doesn't make sense to me. Everybody stared at him. Mother said, what's under the sun? Father said, too deep for me. Come, Jim, give me an easy one. But I looked up at the tall old clock where Uncle Jim had looked when he spoke. Five minutes past three, he winked at me, and I winked back, for I saw the joke. Okay, I did get this out of the book. And apparently I didn't read it before I put it in here. But anyway, I like the design, the clock. I just like the background. It reminded me of um, vintage times. Again, let me know in the comment section what page you like the best. And I do have other videos showing how I make these uh, little pockets. And again, I want to thank Pam from Pam's Treasures for making this beautiful cover for me. I think it's just, and she sent me like this ribbon and there was other supplies. And a lot of the supplies were for uh, Valentine's. And I chose I may do a Valentine's one, but I chose to do a Christmas one. I know it's a little past Christmas, but that's, to me, I, I actually like to sew all year round for Christmas. And, but I hope that people who watch my channel will uh, start making yeah, journals. Uh, there's tons of videos to watch and I'm far from being an expert on making these. I've only started um about two years ago and I'm like I said not perfect at it but I love doing it and you know what you don't have to be perfect. 
just do what makes you happy and crafts of any kind. This and my uh, jewelry art are my favorite, plus my sewing. But I don't consider my sewing a hobby since um, all my life I have sewed and uh, I actually sewed professionally at one time. So uh, I don't consider it a hobby. It's more like a job to me, but I enjoy it and love it. Thank you for watching my channel. And like I said, uh, I would appreciate um, you leaving a comment. It really does help creators when you leave a comment and watch the advertisements. Uh, thank you again. Bye, everyone.